Alley-oop over to Menezes. Rocket, what a feed to Anthony. Gets it to go. At the free throw line. Splash. Hello and welcome to the Max Turner Athletic Center. My name is Ari Shaw and I'm joined by Joseph Silver and we're getting ready for a catch against Valley Tora. This is the NCSY Summer Pre-Game Show, best summer ever. And just before we get started, Joseph, how did these teams get to this point? Yesterday was a big day for both Cats and Valley Tora. Cats started out and then started to count. They stumbled a little out of the gate. They were able to right the ship in the second half and they pulled out of the close one and the only upset of the first of the Tier 1 quarterfinals against Ida Crown. And Valley Tora yesterday against TABC, 2-15 matchup. They similarly stumbled out of the gate, but in the, se in the second quarter, they really took over the game. And at the end of the, score, well, end of the day, the score wasn't so close, but, and they're looking to uh, bring the momentum into today as well. And the Star Alliance are sponsored by the this is Shiva University Offensive Admissions. As you start your college journey, make sure you visit us online to check out all the great events and opportunities we have for YU students. Starting for Cassie Shiva, number 10, Guda Pardell. Number 23, Ezra Frieden. Number 21, Yuvalu Vachnan. Number 3, Asher Rosen. And number 4, Mayor Eisen. And for Valley Tour, there's Johnny Dan. Goes up with the left, gets it to go. Left-handed finish. And he's number 22. He's joined by number 3, Noah Mayuhas. Number 24, Rash Vante. Number 4, Ethan List. And number 14, Daniel Rabib Gabriel Rabibo. And another turnover by the Valley Tora Wolfpack. Yeah, that's a perfect, perfect example there of Valley Tora's pressing defense. Johnny Dan there to finish with a left-handed layup. Got the rebound off the miss from Mayuhas. Valley Tora is still out in that press. Their signature press. And another turnover. Here comes Johnny Dan again. And he's got it again. Six nothing Valley Tour, just like that. 45 seconds into this game, and this gym is loud already. Uh, Valley Tour faithful came out to support their team today. And Ovachnin can't get the layup to go. Mayuhas all the way, gets it to go off the glass. Such a strong player going down here to Ovachnin. Got the layup for Ovachnin drives, goes up, can't finish. And Frieden there for the rebound, he gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah, good heads up played by Frieden, making sure he got that offensive board and he's rewarded with the foul shots. Free throw is missed from Frieden. Cash trying to get on the board still. 8-0, yeah, it's a big game for Valley so far. But as we know from yesterday, you can never count Cats out. And they get on the board as Frieden hits the second one. 8-1, Valley to our lead. Passing a 1-3-1 defense with Asher Rosen leading the pack at the top of the key. Dan for three. No good, back iron. And Rosen comes up with it, but he loses it, and they're gonna call a foul. And I believe that's gonna be on number 14, Gabriel Rabibo. Yeah, Valley Tour going for their aggressive press. A little too aggressive there by Rabibo. Gets called for the foul. Yeah, and it's all about finding the balance between being aggressive and looking to force those turnovers, but also not fouling, getting to early foul trouble. Cash breaking the press, getting sailed to the half court offense. Rosen's got it. Over to Eisen. Eisen's got it with Bachman. drives middle, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Ethan List took the contact, and it's going to be Valley Tour basketball. Yeah, it's a very Valley, Tour, very Valley Tour type play there. Both playing their bodies on the line, very high energy. And you saw it right there at the offensive foul. Mayu Hus brings up the ball for the Wolf Pack. Dan back in the corner over the list. 
alley oop to Dan. Dan goes up, gets it. He's going to turn around. He's blocked by Frieden. And that's going to be Cat basketball. Oh, he almost had the alley oop there, a little bit off for Dan. And then just gets absolutely blocked. Pardell with the basketball. Skip pass. He's got Rosen. Rosen for three. Won't go. List with the rebound. A little bit of an off-balance shot there by Rosen, but you know he can't hit them. He had 20 points yesterday, and I'm sure he's looking to do the same, if not better, today. Dan for three. Won't go. And Pardell secures the rebound. Up ahead to Rosen. Rosen drives middle. Short jump shot. He's got it. A nice cut by Rosen. Now a long pass to Dan, and here comes the Wolfpack, not wasting any time. But the ball is lost, picked up by Pardell. Here comes the, the storm. Pardell goes up, he's blocked by Ethan Riz. Oh, here we go. We have some tension going on here. Looks like there's a technical foul on Ethan List. After the block, he got in face. Yeah, we saw it earlier today in the North Shore game also. You gotta, be, you gotta control yourself after these plays. That's and Pardell will now have two free throws and then Cash will retain possession. Again, an excellent defensive play. There's no need for the extracurricular stuff after that. And Pardell makes one or two, but Cash will take the ball out from the sideline. Pardell bringing up the ball, calling out the offensive set. He's got Frieden. Frieden's got space on the perimeter, pulls it. He's got it. One point game, 8 7 Valley Toy lead. Can't leave that open on the perimeter. Make the for that. My U.S. draft rejected by Frieden. And Pardell now brings it up, throws it ahead. He's got Frieden. Frieden got baseline, goes up with the right hand, can't get it to go. And my U.S. brings it down for the Wolf Pack. Skip pass, list, drive middle, pull up, jump shot, contested, won't go. Dan with the rebound, puts it back up, puts it in. Very heads up play by Dan, following the board, making sure he was able to get the second chance points. Rosen, here comes the trap in the corner. Frieden gets out of it, kicks it out, top of the key. Eisen thinks about the three, drives middle. Corner, Rosen, three, won't go. Dan secures the rebound, ahead to list. List got some space. He goes up, draws contact, can't finish. That's going to be a foul on Eisen, and List will go to the line for two. That's classic Valley Toro right there, going quickly from east to west, and they are able to draw the foul. And that's the thing with this Valley Toro team. When that shot goes up, you got to be ready to get back on defense because they're looking to run immediately after they get the rebound. And Ethan List hits the first free throw. And number 25 is in the game now for the Valley Toro Wolfpack. And that's Eli, Eli would die. And second free throw from this is good. It's a 12 7 Valley Toro lead. Pardell over to Frieden inside the Ovakin and goes up. Brings it. Gorgeous bell movement from the Cassie Siva. Yeah, Ovakin's their big man. They're able to find him down low and he makes Valley Toro play for the last defense. Devante goes up. A lot of contact. No foul call. And then on the other end, Rosen loses it. My U.S. comes away with it. Goes inside, pump fakes the shot, back out. List for three, it's blocked from behind by Cardell. Up ahead to Rosen, Rosen, and he finishes at the rim. Yeah, beautiful block there by Cardell, and he's able to find, he's able to find a cutting Rosen. My U.S. for three, he's got it. And just like that, the Wolfpack has retaken a four point lead. Once again, Valley Tora not wasting any time getting the ball down court. Now letting Cats get set on defense. And pass deflected. Dan comes up with it. He's pushing the pace. He goes up with the left. It's blocked by Eisen. Rosen now has got the ball. Corner. Frieden drives. Euro step. Goes up. Can't get it to go. No U.S. now bringing it up the floor. Oh, nifty behind the back move. He's got a lot of space. Goes up with the right. Gets it to go. And now move us. 
best players in this tournament with a beautiful behind the back over there. He's the wide open lane. He's an electric in transition as well as most of this Valley Tour team. Rosen finds Freedom, Freedom. Rosen in the corner for three. And that hits the sixth defender. It's going to be Valley Tour basketball. Yeah, the infamous sixth defender in this next turn athletic center of Hawaii gym. Strikes again. This has been a very high scoring, high fast paced first quarter. We got two minutes left. It's already 17 11. Valley Tour lead. And this is really the way Valley likes to play. They really like to go high tempo, keep the pace going quickly, and we see it in the scoreline. It's working out in their advantage. And we have some substitutions. Number one, the guard for Cassie Shiva, Ben Eddington. And number 35, excuse me, number 33, Zach Izaguya. Eddington drives, pull up, jump shot, won't go. Fight for the rebound. Eddington follows his own rebound, goes up. Can't get it, and that's going to go out of bounds, and he'll stay with Cassie Shiva. And Coach Muir Schwarzberg does not like that call at all. Yeah, going back to Izaguya, he was really a spark plug off the bench for Ida, uh, for Cats yesterday against Ida Crown. Really helped them get the advantage in that game. Let's see if he can do the same this time. Pardow gets the ball in the backcourt. Pardow using a ball screen. Trying to get it inside. Izaguya out. Ovakna drives. Goes up, contact's gonna be a block and foul on Mayuhas. And we'll send Ovakna to the line for two. Yeah, he tried to draw the charge there, but the ref wasn't having any of it. And now Ovakna's gonna go to the line for two. First free throw from Ovakna is no good. A lot of missed three fours for Cavs. I think Valley Tour is going to keep sending them to the line. I think going to take advantage. And he misses the second one. And it's retained by number two. Ariel Ohanta. Oh, excuse me. Ariel Kohanta. We just checked in the game for the Valley Tour. Wolf back. Missed shot from U.S. Rebounded by Vivante, but he traveled. And it's going to be Cassie Chief of Basketball as Johnny Dan will check back in the game. And he will replace Raj Vivante. Yeah, on that last play, jumped up for the offensive board, just couldn't gain his footing, wound up falling down, and he's going to get called for a travel on that other time. Rosen over to Padel. The corner to Isaac Gulia. Picks out corner, wide open through for Rosen, and he's got it. Yeah, that's one of the drawbacks for Valley Toro style of play. Once the ball was already turned over, the entire Valley Toro team started making their way to the front court. Turnover calls Rosen to be open in the corner, and he won't miss from there. Mayuhas guarded closely by Rosen. Over to Dan. Dan attacks, picks it out. Back up top, Mayuhas, a deep three pointer. No, back rim, rebound. List. List drives off the glass, won't go. Fight for the rebound. It's back to List again. List inside. Dan. It's 20 seconds out here. Long three-pointer. Oh, he's got it. Great possession for Valley Toro there. Two offensive boards led to the Johnny Dan three. Ten seconds on the clock. Cash has got to push it. Rosen. Back to Rosen. Rosen, corner. He's got Julia. He's not going to get it off in time. I don't think they realize how much time is on the clock. Kind of just slow offense with no time, on the, with no time left. Valley Tour 20, Cassie Shriva 14. We're going to send to a quick commercial break. Welcome back to the Max Stern Flag Center. Follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with a Pathways du Dual Degree 
or early assurance program. Join us at our March info session taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathway slash info hyphen sessions. That's yu.edu slash pathway slash info hyphen sessions. Start planning for your future today. And a very exciting first quarter has just happened. And now we're getting ready for hopefully what's shaping up to be an exciting second quarter with Valley Tour holding on to a six point lead. Yeah, both these teams very high energy. I was talking to the Cats coach. He said they're going to have to play high energy if they want to beat Valley Toro, who's known for their just high tempo and high press. Uh, Valley Toro is up six. We'll see if Cats can uh, come back. Hayden with the ball over to Rosen. Out to Frieden. Frieden drives middle, kicks it out. He's got Gouye. Good three. Too long. Kalan Thurks to finish the rebound. I like the idea there from Mizuguyev, you're just going to get it to fall that time. Kohanta, excuse me, Madai. Long three from this, won't go. Dan is there for the rebound. Turn away, and he's going to be fouled. And the question now is whether that's a shooting foul or on the ground. And it looks like it's going to be on the ground. Yeah, Johnny Dan, one of the best players in this tournament. Just being a heads up play, always looking for the ball, grabs the offensive board and is able to draw yet another foul. And now it's just collected. Here comes Edelman. Edelman all the way off the glass. And that's going to be a foul on Johnny Dan. Yeah, we've seen that from both sides of this game. Questionable passes on both ways leading to turnovers. Both teams are going to have to stop that if they they want to do well today. And the 5'9 guard, Ben Eddington, will have to line for two free throws. First free throw is no good. We have a substitution. Eisen will check in the game for Rosen. Second free throw bounces around the rim, no good. Fight for the rebound, and it's going to be Johnny Dan with the rebound. And they're going to get a foul on Ezra Frieden. Yeah, Frieden's been, Frieden's been having a good game so far, really trying to go for that offensive board. Just a little too aggressive there, got caught to the foul. And here comes Gabriel Rabiba bringing up the ball. Mayuas, here comes the crack. Oh, gorgeous pass inside to Dan. Dan gets it to go. Aggressive defense from Cats, but at least a wide open Dan up in the basket for two. Yeah, you can't do that if you're Cats. Johnny Dan is not the guy you want to leave open up to the hoop. Freedom drives, acrobatic shot. It's going to be a foul on Rabibo. And Freedom will head to the line for two free throws. And Schwarzberg is asking for some clarification on that call. First free throw from Freedom is good. Freedom second free throw up is short. Fight for the rebound. We Freedom's got it right back. Baseline finds it. Yaguyev is knocked out of bounds, and it will stay with the Cassie Shiva. Yeah, great play by Frieden following the, following the ball. It was too aggressive on the last free throw rebound, but he's able to get this one this time. Eisen looking to inbound the ball. He's got Frieden. Frieden. Out to Jake Kaludlum. And that's going to be an offensive foul. As Elad Vadai got into position, taking the charge. Yeah, Valley Tour, one of those teams, they really, they're really willing to put their body on the line. We've seen it already a couple times this game, and they're able to draw the charge there. And Mayuhas, a little careless with the basketball, trying to do the same thing they did a couple possessions ago, but that time it was not executed well. Yeah, I think he was trying to get it to Dan, maybe an alley-oop or just a high pass, but a little too high over there. Edelman brings up the ball. Frieden, got space, goes up for three, won't go. Mayuas pushes ahead, he's got Kalantep. 
Montez loses the basketball. And Coblum comes down the court, kicks it out. Freedom, Freedom drives. Takes a couple steps, gets it to go off the glass. A gorgeous finish from Ezra Freedom. Yeah, he thought about the shot, and then he saw he had a lane, took it close, and he was able to get the bucket. Dan takes two big steps, goes up, won't get it to go. Good contest from Izaguyev. And here comes Freedon. Freedon takes it right inside to my US, and that's going to be an offensive foul. And this Valley Cole Wolfpack team is showing that they're more than willing to take that third. Yeah, we were just saying right before, that's, I think, their third offensive foul of the game. And they're one of those teams, high energy, they're willing to just take the body. NCSY Summer is the premier summer trip provider for Jewish teams across the world with over 20 plus programs spanning the U.S., Israel, and Europe. NCSY Summer can find something for you. Visit summer.ncsy.org. And again, a very high, fast-paced start to this game. And Cats, they're hanging in there. They're hanging in there against the defending champions. Yeah, you know, this is the way Valley Tour really likes to play. They love the high tempo, and Katz is very willing to match, as we saw yesterday against Ida Crown, a very high-energy, scrappy team, both sides. Uh, Valley Tour right now up five, but this game could be either way. A couple missed free throws, a couple lazy passes, and this game could be the other way. I think the key for Katz moving forward is they're going to have to find a way to maybe slow the ball down a little bit and break that signature Valley Tower press. Whenever Johnny Dank comes up, they seem to get a little flustered. If they're able to calm themselves down, they should be okay. Absolutely. And the U.S. picking up the ball now. And it looks like there's some confusion. I think it's shot clock. The shot clock didn't start in time. Pohante trying to get the ball to the list, so that's going to be deflected, but it will stay with Valley Tower. Yeah, a little bit of a forced pass, though. That's called Blumen's right there. Got to be smarter with the ball. Now you have now 20 seconds on the shot clock. He's got space on the perimeter. He pulls it. Won't go. Yeah, very oh. very deep, but we've seen from you guys that you got to guard him even out there. All the way, rebounded by Isaac Gulyev, and he gets it to go. Three-point game. And Valley Tour wasting no time to get the ball. Dan, Dan, got space on the perimeter, pulls up the three, won't go. Rebounded by Vivante. Mayuha sells it down. Looking for somewhere to go. He's got Vivante, Vivante trying to drive baseline. Hands it off to Dan, Dan back out, Mayuha. And they're going to call offensive three seconds. And that's a turnover. And going Cats way. Yeah, as a big man, you got to be aware of yourself, where your feet are, how you know, where, where you are on the court, and three seconds there. Call Bloom over to Eisen. Obafin and crossover gets inside. Fade away, gets it to go. Gorgeous move with a finishing touch. Yeah, Yuval Ovakin's their big man. That was a big man play right there. Lewis loses the ball, recovers it. Mini West being picked up at half court. Finds the list. Lewis got space. He's going to pull it way off. It's that Guya with the rebound. Here comes Eisen. Eisen off his foot, picked up by Mini West. Mini West is pushing now. Hesitation drives, a lot of contact, that's going to be a blocking foul. And it will stay on the floor. And that's going to be on It's Aguya, number 33. We have a substitution here. Yeah, Noam Yukas, known for pushing the basketball, pushes it there that time. And It's Aguya just wasn't able to get his feet set. Judah Pardiaro stepped back into this game for the Cats Yeshiva. And my U.S. will go to the line. Just one and one. Excuse me, that wasn't a one and one, that was two shots. The 
Gets them both to go. Three point lead, Valley Tour. Yeah, and it's crucial to hit those free throws. When the, when the, if the opponent sees you're not hitting your free throws, they don't mind putting you on that line. Well, Backlin gets the ball inside, spins, turn around, off the glass, won't go. And well, U.S. with the rebound, and he's pushing, he's got numbers. Oh, gorgeous move, oh, gorgeous pass, and Dan finishes. Yeah, Noam Utah one of the best players in this tournament, making a big play right there. Beautiful pass. And Edwin in a little bit of trouble. Isaac for three, a high archer, won't go. And my U.S. is pushing. Cardell guarding the U.S. U.S. got space on perimeter, goes up for three. That's off. And Eisen secures the rebound. And we have a timeout for Cassie Shiva. And we will send it to a commercial break. Welcome back to the Max Turner Flag Center where the Valley Tour Wolfpack lead the Cassie Shiva Storm 26-21 with just over three minutes to play in this first half. An exciting one so far. Yeah, both teams very high energy going back and forth, willing to push. They like to crash the offensive glass. Uh, Valley Tour is currently up by five, but a couple passes both ways, a couple bad passes and missed free throws for Cats. This game could easily be Cats up by five. Eisen will protect, take the ball out of bounds. Rosen checks back in the game for the catch of Shiva. Pardell gets to Isaguya, back to Pardell. Rosen working on Dan, Dan staying in front of him. A fadeaway jump shot, won't go. And there's Dan with the rebound. And Johnny Dan's got 15 points already in this game. Dan, top of the key, three. He's got it. Make that 18 for Dan, beautiful three. And just like that, Dan is already back on defense. Won't go, rebound, Mayuas. And Valley Torre looking to extend the sleep to double digits on this possession. The die over to Mayuas, long three. Won't go, Dan with the rebound, fade away, jumper, he's got it. Yeah, ref might have missed the travel over there, but after Utah's miss, Dan, Dan's there as he always is to catch that offensive board. And he's got 20 points with more than two minutes left in the first half. Three from Ivan, he's got it. And the Valley Tower fans won the charge on Ovakinen on that one. Yeah, you can't leave him that open from three. He'll make you pay for that. Mewis. Dan, Dan's gonna pull up again. He's hot right now. Oh, he's got it again. Oh, he cannot miss right now. Johnny Dan is doing everything right for Valley Torah, extending the lead to 10. And if you saw, if you looked at his body language, you would think he has zero points. He has shown no emotion yet this game, and you love that. It's all business. And jumper from Rosen, and the catch and shoot of a stormer hanging on. Dan has got the hot hand. He pulls up again. And that's short. Oh. It's Yaguya with the rebound. I thought he could ride the hot hand over there. Maybe a little bit of a heat check that time. Cardell. Rosen tried to force it inside. They're going to call a kick ball. And it will stay with Katsushima. A little bit of an ill advised pass. Kind of got away. Got it bailed out by Valley Tour kick ball. Reminder to stay tuned for the Camp Stub Up halftime show. That's coming in just over a minute. Cardell inside to Frieden. Frieden working on Madai. Gets it over to Rosen. Rosen turn around, fadeaway jumper, he's got it. Six point game. That was nice offense from 
Cats, when they're more structured in their offense, they're able to play a lot better, and they were able to find the nice pass over there. And Mayu is trying to get a little fancy, he loses it, but his out of bounds, and Valley Toro will retain possession. Yeah, we know how good of a player Mayu Class is, but that's maybe just an example of a good player trying to do a little too much. Dan inside, draws contact, gets it to go, and one, Johnny Dan. Yeah, he was able to get his Akuya flying at, flying at the top of the key, throws into the wide open lane, gets rewarded with the end one. And num number one for Hayun on Valley Terra checking this game. As the Johnny Dan chance erupt in the Max Dan Athletic Center. And Dan completes the three point play. 37 28, Valley Terra. Shot clock is turned off. Got to think of the hold for the last possession here. Devante picking up Rosen, physical defense. Rosen drives, a lot of contact, and that's gonna be a foul. It looks like on number 24, Raz Devante, which will send Rosen to the line for two with 17 seconds up in this first half. Yeah, signature Valley Tour defense there, very aggressive, very in your face. On the drive, a little too much contact there, the refs wind up calling the foul. First free throw from Rosen is good. Rosen hits them both, 37 30, 17 seconds. And Valley Toro will likely hold for the last shot of this half. Yeah, Cats really needs to get the stop here. You don't want to go with a double digit deficit to half that. Dan, fighting space, pulls up. Back rim, he gets his own rebound. Mid-range jumpers blocked, two seconds on the clock. Finds inside, won't go. Radai could not get it to go. Uh, Radai almost had it there, very heads up play by Valley Tora crashing the last, but wasn't able to go for Radai. So Valley Tora 37, Cassie Shiva 30. And it looks like we have Varen Kaplan standing by with Coach Lior Schwartzberg of Valley Tora. Varen, take it away. Thank you guys so much. Coach, we got a good lead. How do we keep this lead going? How do we keep the, keep the offense running, the defense doing its job? I don't think this is a good lead. You don't think it's a good lead? I don't. Seven points at halftime is three possessions max. So at this pace of game, both teams are scoring. Seven points is nothing. So we just, we're just hoping that you know, we continue to just you know, play good defense and try our best to execute. Uh, we're tired. We played 14 hours ago. They played over a day ago. So you know, that's, that's a factor in this game right now. Just keep extending that lead, and I think you guys will be good. No, would you say that? If we keep the seven-point lead, I think we're going to win the game. Well, best of luck then. Go, to, go uh, talk to your team. Thank you. thank you, guys. Thank you, Barrett and Coach Schwartzberg. And we're going to send it to a quick commercial break. And then we return halftime in show.
my story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of the cell. I made my painting from scratch. Like, really, from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Max Turner Athletic Center. This is the Step It Up Basketball Camp Halftime Show. We've got big news. Camp Step It Up is back at Hobart College in Geneva, New York for summer of 2023. Camp will start June 21st and end on August 2nd with one six-week options. We have an option for you. Hobart is located just four and a half hours north of New York City and buses will be offered to camp from New York City and TNIP. Camp is open to all boys and girls at grades 3 to 12 with one to six-week options available. Gorgeous campus facilities include air-conditioned rooms, six indoor basketball courts, a weight room, a lakefront, and a beachfront on and near campus, lounges, and more. For more information, email office at campsteppitup.com or visit timetostepitup.com or call 888-600-0908. It's been a really great game here so far. Very high tempo. Very high tempo, Valley Toro kind of in control with their press. Cat's not far behind. We're gonna send the Barrett right now, standing by. We're gonna send Barrett now, standing by with the coach of Cats. Take it away, Barrett. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Coach, it's a close game. Started off a little slow, but you guys are pushing it. What are we? What's it going to take to get the win? What's it going to take to beat them? No more runouts and just get on the defensive glass. We're giving them too many offensive rebounds. We clean that up, then we we're, we're right there. So it's all a defensive game at this rate. I think so, yeah. And slow it down on offense a little bit for us, but defensive rebounding. All right. Well, best of luck and keep it that defense. Back to you guys. Thank you, Barrett. Follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with a Pathways dual degree or early assurance program. Join us at our, our, at our March info sessions taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions. That's yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions. And start planning for your future today. And the second half of this game is just about ready to get underway with Valley Torah leading the Cats achieve a storm 37 to 30. Yeah, the Cats coach was very on point over there. Uh, way too many offensive rebounds for the Wolfpack. They had six in the first, uh, eight, eight, excuse me, in the first in the first half. They're gonna have, Cats is gonna have to make sure that they get those boards defensively. 
if they're going to want to hold Valley Toro. Too many second chance points for them. And Valley Toro will start with the basketball. Starting lines are same for the both, both teams, starting five. Yeah, Valley Toro was a great first half, really playing their own game as we get a potential alley oop from there. And they're going to call a travel on Dan, and it looks like Dan thought he was fouled. Yeah, a little bit of a questionable call over there. Dan definitely didn't like it. Great execution, breaking the press for Cats. Rosen drives, a gorgeous reverse lead, gets it to go. He's got 15 points. List up ahead. Got Vivante. My U.S. way downtown. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, going back to the previous possession, the key for Cats in the second half is being able to break that signature cross from the wolf pack. And on the other end with that three, Milikas is shown he's not scared to shoot it out from out there, and he's definitely able to make those. And now you see Valley Toro really flying him out on that press on the defensive end. And they're going to look to up the tempo in the second half to pull away and secure the win. As Ising will inbound the ball on the sideline. Cardow calling out the offensive play. Uses the ball screen from Rosen. Cardow thinks about taking the shot. Eisen for three, a high archer, that's short. Dan with the rebound, he looks like he's gonna throw that one all the way down the court, but decides against that. Yeah, good defense by Mimukas there, had his hand, had his, had his hand in the space the whole time. And Dan, top of the key, three, he's got it again. And this is a Johnny Dan spectacular performance. He's got 29. Yeah, everyone knows that Johnny Dan, he was the MVP of Sarajek last year, definitely looking to make a case to go back to back. Breeden, step back, fakes it. Give and go, is stolen. Mayuas got numbers. Oh, a no-look pass. Vervante goes up off the glass. He gets it to go. Another gorgeous pass from Noah Mayuas. We had it behind the back in the first half, and we had the no-look over there. Just now. And when Mayuas got the ball in the open floor, it's a dangerous sight for the defense. As Rabibo comes away with the steal, off the glass, won't go. Dan with the rebound, but they can call a loose ball foul on Dan with the push-off. Well, Johnny Dan doesn't like it, but I think it's the right call. And yet, that's yet another example of Cats struggling against this Valley Tower press. They're really going to have to figure out a way to stop throwing these, these dangerous passes if they're going to want to have success and pull ahead. Yeah, you said it. If they, if they can continue to turn the ball over, this game can get out of hand relatively quick. And as I say that, an errant pass over the head of Ezra Frieden, that's going to be a turnover. Yeah, the pass is very high there. No real need to do that. I wonder if the Valley Tower press and knowing that once he steps over, they'll be right in his face, force that bad pass from him. The Cats in their 1-3-1. One, one. Mayuas skip past the corner, list. Back up top to Mayuas. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Valitor not in any rush at all. Corner, Vivante, short jump shot, pull up, won't go. Freedom, pushing the pace now. Finds with Vivante, Vivante, oh, he stepped out of bounds, so he'll stay with Cat ball. Good transition defense there by the Wolf Pack. Fortunately, Vivante stepped out of bounds, and it's going to be Cat's ball. Rosen, jumper, that's off. Dan secures the rebound, and Valley Torre pushes the other way. List, guarded closely by Pardell, and it's going to stay with Valley Torre ball, out of bounds. Yeah, Valley Toro can't help themselves sometimes other than to just push. It's definitely the default for them. Mayuas. He's got space. A deep three-pointer again. He's got it again. And he gives you the MJ shrug. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, you really got to guard him and Dan. It's very hard to guard both of them from so far away. Great and drive baseline. Find it's Aguilar. It's Aguilar. Can't come up with it. And it's knocked out of bounds. It'll be Valley Toro basketball. Another turnover from Cats. They really got to be careful with these passes. The lead is already up to 16 for Valley Toro. Cats has got to take control at some point. And Ben Edelman checks in the game for number three, Rosen. And if you're Cat, you've got to find a way to stop this run and get back in this game before it gets out of hand. As Dan pump fake, pull up three. And it's going to be a foul on number 33, Ithyaguyev. A little too aggressive on the closeout. 
Yeah, Zaguyev's not going to like that, but you've got to leave space for the shooter to land. The refs are going to call that one every time. You can see on the replay there, gets into the body, and that's going to be automatic three free throws for Dan. And Dan misses the first one. And then gets the second one to go. We would like to thank Dougie's for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best barbecue and grill in Tina, make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBarbecue.com to order, and the link is in the description of this video. And Dan gets two out of three. He's up to 31 30, points for 31 Johnny Dan. 31 points, are you kidding me? I might I remind you, there's just under five minutes left in the third. This game is nowhere near over. And Value Tour, very aggressive. That's picked off by Mayuhas. And he's gonna pull up for three. And he's got it again. Another three from you, Gas. And he's feeling it. And Valley Tora. 18 has, points from you, Gas. Valley Tora has blown this game open. And Cash desperately needs a bucket here. And that shot won't go. But Isaac Guyev follows him with the rebound. Freedom, pump fake, steps to the side. Shot won't go. Another offensive rebound. Cardell. And there's going to be a timeout from Cash and Silver. They need to settle down as Valley Tora. It's up 53-32. We're going to send him to a quick commercial break. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center where the Valley Toro Wolfpack have taken a 21 point lead behind the dominant play of Norm Mayuhas and Johnny Dan. Yeah, it was a seven point game at halftime. The Valley Toro really came out strong with the high tempo and the high press, forcing Cats into a lot of turnovers, crashing the offensive glass, and really nothing's gone right for Cats this half. They're really hoping to just get control, turn it around, and cut that lead from 21. And your Cats. You look at the score and you see that 21 point deficit. But reminder, you've got more than a quarter and a half to play. So what you need to do on the offensive end, focus on getting the best quality shot possible. And then once that shot goes up, you've got to scramble back on defense because this value to our team is looking to run the second that shot goes up. Yeah, I think the key for them is just going to be slowing it down a little bit offensively. And we saw it with the last possession before the timeout. It almost looked like a Valley Tower possession with the amount of offensive rebounds. Let's see if they can keep that up after the timeout. And Ben Carl Bloom is checking the game. He finds Edelman. Edelman hits a turnaround. Left side gets it to go. A huge bucket and a must needed bucket, I should add, for Cassie Shiva. Yeah, when the offense is more structured in the half court, they're able to get better possessions. Let's see if they take note of that for the next, for the rest of the game. Oh, Got lift, lift, a couple feet behind the arc. He's got it. And this Valley Tour team is clicking on all cylinders right now. And when they do that, it's, they're, they're just almost impossible to stop. Yeah, Valley Tour gets a lot of credit for Johnny Dan and Noam Yuchas, but they got a lot of great players other than those two. Ethan List, Gabriel Revivo, Raul Cervante, just to name a few. Got a lot of players on that team. And the fight for the ball between Dan and Frieden. That's going to be a jump ball, and it will stay with Katz. And Johnny Dan has a 31-point double-double with 10 rebounds. And again, we're just about, you know, about a quarter and a half away from this game being over. So he's got plenty of time. And that's going to be another turnover. Here comes Ethan List. List uh, kicks out Mayuas for three. Won't go. Fight for the rebound. The ball is lost and recovered by Kasashiva. Here comes Carbroom. And that's going to be a, a hard foul as both players took a fall and List looks like he's in a little bit of pain but he seems to be remaining in this game yeah it looks like they just need to walk it off List was trying to draw, draw the charge got his leg out a little bit both players are getting tangled up over there but they both look to be okay so that's good and Ariel Kohante is checking the game for Rasavante Breeden takes to pull up three, won't go. It's that Guyev 
Rebound, working inside. Knocked out of bounds by Dan. It'll stay with Katz's receiver. It's a good possession by Katz, though, grabbing that offensive rebound. They're going to need to keep doing that if they want to cut this lead and get back into this game. And Cardell is checking the game, as well as for Valley Torre, Elad Widai is replacing Gabriel Rabibo. Cardell got called Bloom. Obakinen spins, tries to find Ijaguyev, and it's stolen, and they're going to call a jump ball, and this will be Valley Torre possession. Yeah, Valley Torre tried to call timeout there, wasn't able to get it off in time, but they're still able to retain possession. And another point about Dan, you see a guy that's at scoring 31 points and 10 rebounds in, in, about, in about two and a half quarters, and he's still the guy that's on the floor every play with the loose ball. And that's not a role model for all these kids watching. I mean, that, that, that's the way you need to be playing. Yeah, Johnny Dan is a really great player, very professional, and he never, he never takes his foot off the gas. And Mayu has a task to basket. He's going to be fouled. Almost got the acrobatic layup to go, but he'll head to the line for two free throws. Yeah, that's the danger of Miyuhas. We've seen him shoot all these threes, but he's not scared to put his head down and drive as well. Gets rewarded with the foul shots over there. And his ability to finish with both hands, reverse on both sides of the basket, makes him very tough to contest those shots at the rim as he misses the first free throw. And the second free throw from the U.S. is good. Yeah, let's see if Katz can break this press. Obechnin taking it himself, finds Rosen. Rosen, call him in the corner, Euro step off the glass, gets it to go. There we go, they broke and the here prop. here comes the Valley Tour Wolf Pack, not wasting any time. Johnny Dan for three, are you kidding me? Wow, that's his fifth three today. He has five, Mujas has five. And they're saying that's a two-pointer. His foot was on the line. The ref was motion for a two. Let's see what happens with the score here. Yeah, it looks like it was only a two. But either way, great play. Obachman drives, gets the friendly roll. A great finish from Obachman. Yeah, he's one of my, he was one of Katz's big players. Not just physically, but he's also one of their best. He's been a little quiet today. Let's see if he can get going. And again, Mayu has attacked the basket and almost got the M1, but he'll head to the line for two. Another example of Mujas, just a do-it-all guard. He can shoot, he can drive, he can defend, and he'll go, go back to the line. Let's see if he can hit both this time. And in and out on the first free throw. Come to Como Pizza for some great pizza, pasta, salad, and even awesome breakfast options. We will be streaming the games in the store, making it a great place to watch the games while you eat. And my U.S. is about to take the second free throw. It doesn't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. The die comes up with it. Short floater won't go. O'Bachman secures the rebound. And yeah, Katz was caught watching after that miss by Mujas. And, and Radai was able to grab the board. Almost made him pay. And checking the game now, number two for Valley Torre. That's going to be Ariel Cohanta. Excuse me. Checking in number one. That, that's Hayun as Pardell attacks the basket. Hope that he can go the line for the end one. Yeah, it's a good drive by Pardo getting in there, drawing the foul. Let's see if he can hit those free throws, cut the lead to under 20. Eisen will check in the game for Katsushiva. Cardell completes the three point play. It's a 20 point lead for Valley Toro. With just about a minute left of this third quarter. Now let's see if Valley to if Katz could cut the deficit to under 20 before the end of the quarter. My U.S. guy finds a cut and back door cut from Dan. Dan gets to go. And the chemistry between those two are on another level. Yeah, beautiful play by Dan to shake off his defender. 
him and Miuchas, they're definitely on the same page. Miuchas able to find him. Dang, now it's 36. And Pardow with a nifty move, but can't get it to go. Yeah, another drive by Pardo. That was a big, that was a big strong suit for them in the game against Ida Crown. Let's see if he can get going in this fourth quarter. And there's about a five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. And it looks like Valutor will hold for the duration of the shot clock, trying to get the latest possible shot. Yeah, don't want to let Cats have any time left on the clock. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Mayuhas tapping his head. Drive, right. Step back. Puff three-pointer. Won't go. And the shot clock went off, but it hit the rim. Yeah, I think that's a... Uh a little bit of a malfunction. I don't think it was reset properly. And it was a great effort by Miuchas. Even on the floor after the shot, he got up, he grabbed the rebound. He was going to go back up with it before the buzzer sounded. And they're going to give the ball to Cash with four seconds left in the third quarter. Rosen, he's got to push it. Takes two big steps. Oh, he, oh, he doesn't get it to go. And that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. 62-41, Valley leads. We're going to send him to a quick commercial break. What does it mean? Be yourself. It's being bold. Ruth Yellow for Terrell! Oh my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clip today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center with the fourth quarter between the Valley Toro Wolfpack and Cassie Shiva Storm just about to get underway. Valley Toro with a 62 to 41 lead behind a dominant third quarter where they scored 25 points. Yeah, the score was, uh, Valley Tour was up by seven at halftime. We were hoping, Cats was hoping that they were able to uh, to cut that. Instead, it's they, they look now 21 points down at the beginning of the fourth quarter. They're really gonna have to cut out the turnovers and start, start playing more up front on defense if they're gonna wanna get back into this game before it's too late. And the reality is they have about four minutes of this first four minutes of this fourth quarter to make to get themselves back in this game. If they can't do that, we're looking at we're looking at Valley Toro win. Call Bloom drives, can't get it to go. My US with the rebound. Yeah, I like the thought there from Call Bloom, just wasn't able to get it to go. But they're gonna need possessions like that where they get good drives and they're able to just get it in the basket. And a turnover by my US. Miscommunication with Dan on a the chemistry has worked very well tonight, but on that one does not. Yeah, but so we have to mention that Mayu has 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. So 2 assists and 2 rebounds away from an incredible triple-double. We'll keep an eye on that as he reflects the ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Cassie Shiva. Yeah, we don't see triple-doubles often here in Sarachak or in gen general in high school sports, but Mayu is having one of those games where really nothing he can do is uh, everything he does goes right. Kick out Colvin for 3. He gets it to go. Great possession by Katz, able to find the open man, and he was able to hit the open, open basket. Dan, bring up the ball slowly. No need to rush to get the Valley Tour. Wolfpack. back. He stepped back for three. Back rim won't go. Rebound. Repebo goes up, gets his own rebound again, and gets it to go. Yeah, once again, Katz just watching on the defensive glass. That was two. Two offensive boards in a row for Abibo. They can't have that. They can't let that happen if they want to get back into this game. Part out for three, and the, it looks like a hit. The infamous sixth defender in this Max Stern Athletic Center strikes again. And it's another. It's another. You know, thing you gotta watch out for if you're a shooter, especially in the corner. Yeah, just one of the quirks of this gym. And Dan, a gorgeous fake, gets the basket, finishes, and he's really fired up now. 38 points for Dan. We, we don't often see motion from Johnny Dan, but how could you not? How could you not be excited up 22 with 36 points in this game? And Rosen answers that with a three. 
19 point game. And uh, it seems the Cats has calmed down a little bit on offense and we're seeing that they're having more efficient possessions. Let's see if they can keep that going for the rest of this game. Absolutely, but they need to get stops from the defensive end as well. When you have fall back three guys, lose the ball, stolen by Pardell. Pardell goes up, gets fouled, and he'll head to the line for two. Yeah, that's what you were talking about right there. They got to force the turnovers without stops and turnovers. All the great offensive possessions aren't going to mean anything. And with Johnny Dan at 36, Naomi Uchas at 20, they got to figure out a way to stop both of them. And right now they can't stop either one. First free throws in and out. We would like to thank Chopsticks for being a proud Maps Live sponsor for the best Chinese food in Tina. You've got to go Chopsticks. Head to ChopsticksUSA.com to order online. The link is in the description of this video. As Ezra Frieden just checking the game for Old Bachman. And Pardell gets the second free throw to go. Cuts the lead down to 18. Let's see if Cats can get a crucial stop here. And Valley Pro will take possession under the basket. Yeah, it was a nice drive by Mouchas, but great defense. And it's a jump ball staying Valley Tour's way. List loses it, recovered by Rabibo. Dan now has it. Just about 10 seconds on the stock clock. And they're going to get Rosen for a weakened foul. Yeah, Cat's playing really aggressive. Really aggressive right now, trying to force a stop. A little too aggressive there by Rosen. He's getting his hands, hands in on Dan. Dan attacking the basket, goes up. Oh, gorgeous finish from Dan, using his body to create separation, and he's fired up. Yeah, Pardot was in position over there, but sometimes as a defender, there's just nothing you can do. Freedom kicks out, called him for three. Won't go, Dan with the rebound. Now once again, we're seeing Cats get up good shots. They're just not able to hit them. And unless they start falling soon, it's maybe a little too little too late. And Mayuas loses the ball. But out got layup, he gets it to go. And Cass is just hanging on in there by a thread. They're still hanging in this game. A lot of work to be done to get back into it, but they're not going away just yet. Yeah, great work by Cats. Bunch of teams who give up already. They're, they're not giving up. They're still playing hard, forcing turnovers, and pushing the tempo on the other end. And Dan can't get the ball, get the layup to go on the other end. Pull up from Rose and won't go. And that's going to be a foul. It's going to be against a Valley Tour on, I believe they said Ras Vivante. And Katz will retain possession. Yeah, good job by Katz that time, crashing the offensive glass. It's something they've kind of been struggling with this game. Cut out for three, that's short. Yeah, it was a nice move to get open over there, but wasn't able to convert. And it looks like Katz comes out in a press of their own to try to force turnovers from Valley. Let's see if that works. Javante wide open for three. Bounces around, won't go. And here comes Pardo. Kicks out. Problem, drive middle. Goes up at the left. Oh, gorgeous move, but couldn't get the finish to go. And Dan Spears the rebound. Yeah, it looked a little bit forced there. I don't know if he needed to put that ball up so quickly with the defender on him. And Mayuas finds an open with Bebo. He gets it to go. Yeah, we talk so much about Dan and Mayuas, but players like Revivo and List, they're really, they're really good ballers in their own right, and you can't leave him that open in the lane. 20-point lead. Time is running out for the catch of Shiva. That's going to be a turnover into yeah. the hands of Mayuas, and that's going to be a foul on Rosen. Just an ill-advised pass there from Caldwell. And 20-point lead, three minutes to go, three and a half to go. I don't know, uh, maybe too little too late at this point for Katz. And Valley Turk can taste 
a victory which will send them to the tier one semifinals on Sunday for a matchup against the number six seeded Eula Panthers. Yeah, it was a great game earlier today. Eula coming out with the win over North Shore. And I'm sure I mean, all LA all LA semifinals gonna get both teams excited. And your Bebo can't grab the goal, but Johnny Dan is there for the layup. And he's fired up with fist bump. And Johnny Dan is now up to 42 points. We may need to start checking the record books for most points in a game. Deep yeah. three. Won't go, but as we say that, looks like Valley Torres ready to empty the bench. So Dan might not get a chance to add on to his incredible 42-point performance. Dan now got the ball. Dan drives middle. Gorgeous pass to Miwas. Miwas off the glass, gets it to go. And those two are just on the same page and putting on our show tonight. Yeah, more often than not tonight, we've seen it from Miwas to Dan. Dan saying, nah, I could do that too. Nice pass to Miwas over there. And another turnover on Aaron Cass. Off balance. And Dan, he's going to take his time now. And it looks like Swerth, the coach Swerth, is going to call time out to get these subs in the game. And Valley Tora is well on their way to a big win in this tier one quarterfinal matchup. And we're gonna send it to a quick commercial break. Welcome back to the Max Turner Flag Center. Reminder to stay tuned for the YU Path Race Program post-game show as we will be interviewing the stars of the game. And both benches are in this game now for the final two minutes of this one. Yeah, it's always nice to be able to empty the bench, especially both of these out-of-town teams. The guys that make the trip all the way, Cats from Florida, Valley Tora from LA. It's good to be able to get them in the game. And Greenbaum just missed the three there for Cats at Shiva. Mayor captain team number 12 brings up the ball. Splits the defense. Tries to find Aton Sedegan. But that pass is too high. It's going to be a turnover. Cats achieve the ball. And, and looking ahead, Cats will now enter the tier one consolation bracket. And we'll see, they'll have a couple more games to end this tournament on a high note. But as for, Sal as, excuse me, as for Valley Tour, they're well on their way Sunday for a massive Tier 1 semifinal game and a chance to get back to the Tier 1 championship game like they were last year. As a little bit of sloppy play over these last 30 seconds. Yeah, looking forward to the next game. Eula was able to, was able to oust North Shore today. Uh, North Shore undefeated in the Yeshiva League regular season and playoffs. And Eula was able to hand them their first loss of the entire season earlier today and they're, they got to be riding high going into the semifinal matchup against the familiar rival in Valley Toro. This should be a very fun game. If you watched North Shore Eula today and you watched this game, you can, only, you can only get too excited for this upcoming semifinal game. And as in terms of cats, it's not all down. Last year, after coming in as the ninth seed, they lost a close game to Flatbush early, and it kind of all fell apart for them. They wound up dropping to Tier 3. They even lost in Tier 3. Um, so coming out this time, winning a Tier 1 qualifier game and being able to make it into Tier 1. And in the first half, at least, putting up an admiral fight against the defending champions in Valley Toro. Can't ask much more than that from this Cats team as the only team that was able to pull off an upset in the Tier 1 qualifiers. All the way, a gorgeous finish from Jake Loberfeld, number 15 for Cats. Yeah, it was a great play by number 24, Ariel Rabani, just driving driving down the lane. He was able to get the, able to get the foul call. Let's see if he can hit these free throws. Yeah, my apologies for getting the uh, wrong name there. And 18 seconds left. Looks like Valley is just going to dribble it out over here. And that's what they'll do. And we'll get the final score. Valley Tura, 74. Pats Yeshiva Storm, 53. 
And there's the buzzer. And we're going to send it to a quick commercial break. But when we come back, we'll have the Pathways post-game post -game interview. Don't go anywhere. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clip today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. And hello, everyone, and welcome to the YU Pathways Pro Program Post Game Show. Start your future career sooner and save time and money with one of our YU Pathways programs. Earning credits toward or applying for a graduate degree as early as your junior year. Visit yu.edu slash pathways for more information. As Valley Torres just being cash achiever by a score of 74-53. And we're now going to send it down to our sideline reporter, Barrett Kaplan, with an interview for the stars of the game. Take it away, Barrett. Thank you so much, Ari. Boys, you did it again, the dynamic duo. What worked today? Uh, same thing as the first game, just everything worked. Something clicked with our team coming into Sarachek. We're playing beautifully as a team. And if we play if we play as a team, there's no one in this tournament that can stop us. I love that. I love that. What worked for you, Johnny? Uh, we just started off really well. We know when we start off well, it sets the pace for the whole game. And we know uh, once we get on those runs, we're, we're really deadly. So yeah. One thing, best duo in the nation. You heard it here first. Best duo in the nation. What's good? Thank you guys so much. Okay, rest up and we'll see you back here on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Have a good job. And you can see a lot of passion from these fans. And they believe that this Valley Tour team is well on their way to taking home a back-to-back -back Tier 1 championship. And folks, that will do it from the Max Turner Flag Center today as we get ready to send it to Shabbos, and we're going to sign off, and what has been a great day, and we'll be back on Sunday.